In this video, we're going to play some crazy, ridiculous, and sometimes just plain awful Michael Myers games. Hey. This is Monstrosity! Probably not for kids. I'm Griff Robodanger. I'm Skeletronico. And I'm Tyracula. And this is Monstrosity! Michael Myers made his video game debut 40 years ago in an Atari 2600 Halloween game by Wizard Video Games. More recently, he's returned to the gaming scene with appearances in games like Call of Duty Ghosts for some reason. And more notably, terrifying survivors as a licensed killer in the game Dead by Daylight. But the games we're going to look at in this video are scary in a different way. Because we had so much fun playing terrible Jason Voorhees mobile games in a previous video, we decided to do it again, this time with Michael Myers. We found several unlicensed Michael Myers games and apps in the Google Play Store. And we're going to play them. So you don't have to install this crap on your device. First up, Michael Meyer, Killer Days Gone. About this game. Embark on a great adventure of action and suspense in a lost house in a forest and find your brother. So I'm saving my brother. Are you ready to face the true evil like Jason? Wait, Jason? Feeling you're alone there? No, shut up. In this terrible adventure game, you won't ever end up being alone. At least they admit it's terrible. Test your guts, overcome your fear, thriller begins, scream. So when the game loads up, I learn the true title is Dead on Halloween Kill. Or is it Dead on Hollow Killween? We get an early look at our Michael Myers before he suddenly turns into a scarecrow for some reason. Sadly, this never happens in the actual game. So this Michael Myers game opens in a forest by a lake. Red Shirt Man is fishing, while Green Shirt Man appears to be using his fishing rod to have a sword fight with an invisible sea monster. But little do we know, Michael Myers is watching, and he's... um... I'm just thanking my monkey. Oh yeah, I'm so into fishing. So Green Shirt watches his brother get choked out, and just runs out of there at superhuman speed. Find a shelter to escape that creepy killer. I explore the woods and find this lovely house. This should shelter me from this crazed maniac. Hide yourself in a room before the killer reach home. Oh, so this is actually Michael Myers' house. I'm sure glad you told me to hide out here. So I hide just as Michael returns home, carrying my brother over his shoulder without using his hands. You know, the totally normal way. Is it because he broke all his fingers? Or because he's hammered from chugging this bottle of white bourbon? Find your friend. Stay away from killer. You can hide yourself under tables. Wait, Red Shirt is my friend? I thought he was my brother. Oh shit! Can I just hide here? Nope. I learned that Michael can hold things. Sort of. I managed to slip past Michael upstairs to where my friend was taken. But apparently I need to find a key. Oh come on! At this point, I realize I'm never going to be able to explore this house and find this key with Michael breathing down my neck, so I concoct a plan. I figure out how to hide under a table, where I see Michael bust out a dance move or something. When he goes upstairs, I take the opportunity to make a run for it outside the house. And like the idiot he is, Michael falls for my trap and follows me outside. I lure him way out into the woods. Because he moves so slow, I know it will take him forever to get back. Then I sprint back to the house. With Michael out of the way for now, I can finally explore his house in peace. Uh, Michael's favorite meal is a loaf of bread and a bottle of bourbon. This is where Michael poops. Oh, green cosmetics. Now let's get some tunes going. He has a Polaroid of Mount Everest. Apparently he's been to Nepal. Auto-Tuner Magazine. He must really love Auto-Tuner because he has another copy of the exact same issue over here. Oh, a nice photo of Michael's World War II platoon. Man, he must really like these guys. Yeah, he's got this exact same picture hanging five times in the same room. Ah, oh, there's the key. 
Now I can finally save my friend. Uh-oh, buddy. Uh, you okay? It's time for help. Go to your camp. Find Walkie Talkie to call your brother. Can I just use this phone? Oh, shit. Michael's coming. Wait, can I use this axe? Oh, wow. I killed him from across the room, I guess. Hey, don't mind me. Just walking over your body. Back at the camp. Where are you, my brother? I am in big trouble. How far away are you? Hey. Oh, is that my face? No wonder Michael wants me dead. So am I dead now? Hold on. Did he just kill you with a fishing rod? Calm down, calm down. I am coming, I am coming. No comment. Oh, thank goodness. My brother is coming to save me. You know, he's pulled me out of so many jams in my life. No matter how bad the situation is, I can always count on his wisdom and quick thinking to... Oh, shit. Well, shit. Your brother is in big trouble. Find him and save him from that creepy killer. Well, the van is f***. If only I had a copy of Auto-Tuner magazine, I could probably fix this. Oh, hey, neighbor. Hey! I will kill you. Where the hell are you? Oh, hi. I'm here to save my brother. Whack! Wait, who the hell is this? I'm so confused. Is this the same red shirt friend from before? Or is this the van driver brother who just happens to look exactly like my friend? Okay, how the hell did Michael get up here so fast? I just killed him downstairs. And he did it with only one leg. He runs pretty fast for a guy with one leg. Okay, I'm supposed to run, run, run. As I was saying, run, run, run. Go to your destroyed van and hide yourself. Okay, this time I'm gonna get caught on this stair banister. That's it. Feel the wrath of my axe. Okay, I guess that's not a thing anymore. Oh, the hiding icon. Nope. Okay, if I just... Who the f*** put this chair here? This section of gameplay may be one of the most infuriating things I've played in quite some time. From the time I regain control of the character, I literally have about two and a half seconds to get going before Michael Myers reaches me and kills me. The game controls are broken and unresponsive, and the house design is tight and difficult to maneuver around. On top of this, the developers made the asshole decision to start you back at the car crash every time you die. So each attempt, I have to wander through the same boring ass forest and through this janky house just to die to Myers in three seconds because I couldn't maneuver around the staircase fast enough. <sighs> I become so frustrated with these constant failures, I'm left with only one available course of action. I'm gonna throw Michael's stuff in the toilet. Bottoms up. Oh, were you planning on eating this tasty bread? I hope you like it soaked in pee. Auto-tuner magazine? More like... Uh... Okay, why won't it go in the toilet? Um... Fine, you know what? I'll just wipe my butt with this later. Hey, just thought you should know your stuff's in the toilet. Oh, are you gonna cry about it? Whack, whack. Eat it, nerd. But I wasn't done. 
I wanted to hit Michael where it really hurt, by taking away his precious booze. I grab his bottle of white bourbon, the one that wasn't in the toilet, and taunt Michael out of the house. My plan is to lure Michael out to the lake I was fishing in earlier, in hopes that he will drown and I can go about my business. Oh, you want your booze? Come and get it, bitch. I drop his bourbon into the lake, but what I didn't count on is the fact that Michael Myers can apparently walk on water like Jesus. So I'm forced to axe him, but he manages to just float majestically in the lake even as I try to chop him into little bits. So what did the reviewer say? You're not Michael Myers, though, which it sucks well, the game ain't bad, it's just you are Michael Myers. Well, we didn't Caden only final for all the crazy dream blood dude you know saying I got a tone and hit Michael Myers course, that's really nice. One person found this review helpful. I decided to take a break from the AAA gameplay to give some smaller apps a shot, such as Michael Myers Coloring Book. A beautiful coloring book for Michael Myers with high quality drawings. It's a good thing I got this when I did, because the day after I downloaded this game, it was already gone from the app store. I'm not sure who this app is actually designed for. I feel like this would only appeal to preschoolers, but should a preschooler even know who Michael Myers is? Apparently an earlier version of this app featured some even more questionable picture choices. In Jetpack Michael Myers game, Michael Myers has acquired a jetpack and he needs to get to Haddonfield to cause havoc. So yeah, this is pretty much just Michael Myers flying in a jetpack. He has to avoid flying jack-o'-lanterns while an intrusive ad blocks the center of the gameplay screen. I don't have a lot to say about this one, except that the developers blew it by not calling the game Evil Flies Tonight. I found this one that was apparently pulled from the Google Play Store called Michael Myers Halloween Killer, which looked super promising based on this title screen. When I tried to watch the tutorial, it just kept asking me for permission to take pictures and record video. Then I tried to play the first mission. It took me to this screen to equip bonuses like Steel Bullet and Speed Potion, which I did not have. I tried to hit play and... It wanted to take pictures and record video, so I never did find out if there was an actual game in all of that, but apparently they really wanted to get video footage of me. Hey developers, if you pervs want to watch videos of me so badly, you're gonna have to smash that subscribe button just like everyone else. I have hundreds of videos for you sick freaks to watch. Finally, I thought I should check out Myers Horror Escape Scary Game. Say hello to neighbor like Poppy and Specimen Michael. Try to get out of this haunted mansion horror show and feel true mimic horror action fear because scary clown like Jason and Myers is behind you. Unlike the Jason game or other top horror games, this Friday 13th Freddy House and Evil Nun will be on horror escape mission to let your fear out of horror escape game. Michael is back after 20 years run fast as the deadly clown Michael is after you and also has kidnapped your friends and you have to save them in ghost games. Say less, game developers. I'm sold. So I think this guy is supposed to be the hero. There is no telling how you ended up in this mansion, but you need to escape as soon as you can because you are not alone. Michael, a ruthless serial killer, is there to hunt you down. Okay, so this is kind of confusing. Did Michael kidnap me just so he could hunt me down in this mansion? Or did someone else kidnap me and leave me in Michael's mansion so Michael would kill me? Either way, you start the game in this bedroom. Apparently, whoever kidnapped me was thoughtful enough to start a fire in the fireplace so I stayed nice and cozy. So I need to search through Michael's house looking for items like keys, which I can use to open doors to access new areas and eventually escape. But Michael is patrolling the house, and if he catches you... So Michael's new house was... interesting. By all appearances, the mansion looks like it's been abandoned for 20 years. The wallpaper is peeling, everything is filthy. I wanted to make a mess of this place, but someone beat me to it. Despite the fact it looks like it's been abandoned, the lights all work, so clearly it still has electricity. Oh, I love what you have done with this place. Did you get these at Hobby Lobby? Did a giant bird crap on the floor? Oh, it's like something out of Resident Evil, complete with a face palming angel statue. What is this, a book? Oh, now you're too bougie for Auto-Tuner magazine? Hey Mike, I know you're still mad about the whole toilet bread thing, but we're cool now, right? 
the craziest room in the house was this bathroom where every surface seemed to be covered with poop, including this full roll of toilet paper. My favorite feature was this set of side-by-side -side toilets. When I saw this bathroom, I realized I've played a game almost identical to this, featuring Jason Voorhees with almost the exact same house. So, are Michael and Jason roommates in this house? And if so, do Michael and Jason poop together? I mean, it's the only logical explanation for these twin toilets. So I died a few times, but eventually I started to figure out where the items were. Everyone okay in here? Just hanging out? You still alive? Wink if you're okay. Yeah, everything's totally fine. Super normal. Just gonna take this and be on my way. And I managed to evade Michael using my pro gamer skills. Oh, hey, Michael. I'm just gonna take a little detour through the basement. Well, how the hell are you down here already? Oh, I'm dead now. Oh, um, bye. So after playing this game for over an hour, I finally managed to figure out where every item was. So I collected all the items I needed to escape and somehow stayed alive. I enter the final door code to escape the end. That's it. Let's just Skeletronico do the reviews. So scary that it made me poop my pants. You had two toilets you could have used. It has sex, but still good. I'm sorry, what? It lacks. Are you saying this game is a laxative? That would explain the pants pooping. Thanks for watching. If you liked this one, check these out and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, later danger seekers.